Be sure and tell them Lord Mars sent ya. <laughs> In the 90s, we were just teeny tights. We liked our movies and our bikes. We wanted to be DJs, but we were just teeny gals. So we went off to college and we remade. Hey guys, welcome to the Large Marge Sentence Podcast, your favorite podcast where two sweetie sisters talk about their favorite flicks from childhood. I'm Sweetie with a Y. And I'm Sweetie with an IE. And here we are again, you know, week after week. We're doing it. Sisters doing it for themselves. We had Sisters a, are doing it for we themselves. We had an improvement montage. Podcasting every week. Yeah. And we're doing it. So you're welcome, Michelle. Um, <laughs> so, uh, all right. So today um, it was my pick and I was feeling kind of like, I don't know. So we was like, pick a movie. And I was like, oh, I don't know. Blah. Um, throughout Broke Down Palace, which is like obviously a super bummer movie, but like I do want to watch that because I have a lot of memories associated with it. But long story short, we did not pick that one. I picked All, all dogs, dogs Go, go to, to Heaven. heaven. Although, I mean, I would say like most dogs go to heaven, but like there uh, uh, is this weirdness uh, where they're like all dogs are loyal and kind, but then they but then they have this book that's like, oh, but you didn't do any good stuff. So I was <laughs> but wondering, he was still gonna go to heaven, right? So I'm like, and then and then Carface is in heaven. Like, what is I this? Know. All I mean, dogs. I think go we to need heaven. to rewrite the the rules here. <laughs> um, but yeah, Don Bluth um, f- uh, movie. So first of all, I have a huge sweetie confusion confession that I just only found out pretty much today. I'm sure you've yelled at. You've, I'm sure you've told me this before, but maybe I don't remember, but like, whatever. Okay. okay. <laughs> I thought that Don Bluth was Dom DeLuise. I thought what? they were the same person. <laughs> and I was like, oh, it's so funny because he's because often people's, you know, star in their own movies. So I was like, sure. oh, yeah, he's doing Itchy because, you know, he directed it and then he's just going to step in as Itchy. Oh. And so then I was like, wow, he's so talented. He does all these like animated <laughs> movies and is like a funny actor. I just like really it was confusing but like Don Dom I mean like you know yeah. what close but not it's, t- so, it's tough let's re um let's uh what word was I looking for there re review let's review who Don Bluth is again so Don Bluth um we Don't have know, already done okay so we've already done <laughs> American Tale aka Fievel and um, he was the director and sort of creator behind that. And we came to learn from that podcast. I'll repeat it again. Don Bluth was a Disney animator, um, you know, responsible for a lot yeah. of the goodies. And then Walt Disney died and he became head animator. And then he did Rescuers, um, the, uh, the original, and... Um, Pete's Dragon and Disney like wasn't very happy with what he was doing and so he took a bunch of his animators walked off made his own studio and then we get in the 80s mid to late 80s these non-Disney cartoons so we're talking about American Tale uh sorry the first one he did was Secret of Nim American oh. Tale um Land Before Time Rockadoodle Thumbelina Pebble and the Penguin and Anastasia to name a few so, um, and then once you start thinking about these movies, you're like, oh yeah, those were some heavy fucking cartoons. Continuing with the theme of all dogs go to heaven. Uh, some heavy subject matters, right? Because first of all, you're talking about a dog dies. Mm-hmm. Very sad. Uh, and then just in general, mortality and heaven and hell and all those things that when you plunk down your five-year-old to watch, you know, maybe you don't think some hell breathing dog devil is going to be like one of the scenes i mean the guy made some like very memorable films but holy shit did they scare anybody else we'll go into it a little bit more sweetie my question for you though okay this sweetie i loved this movie growing up that's all i remember about it i've seen it only a couple times and it came back to me but some memorable scenes but really i remember and sweetie correct me if i'm wrong did the copy that we had was not like a clamshell plastic cover. Was it a paper cover? 
yeah. that you just yeah. like slid off of it. Yeah, yes. very okay. worn out. Yes. With this one, it was like one that was just like smushed and like you could yes. barely like <laughs> cram the video in there because like I watch it so much or whatever. Yeah. Um, don't know why I loved this movie so much. I'm assuming it had to do with my love of animals. Um, and you or being dogs, being um, best friends with a dog was also like yes. very intriguing yes. to me. Um, I also found it, yeah, pretty funny and like, man, yeah, probably haven't seen this since I don't know. I was third grade. Well, like <laughs> very interesting experience. I think I've talked about this before. This phenomenon, but that's like you're watching a movie and then all of a sudden it's like you've had amnesia and it's just like yeah. like in the way they portrayed in films where you just see like one thing and it like turns on this light in your head and you're like oh my god I know everything that's gonna happen and yeah. it was just like it was just you know just like riding a bike all dogs go to heaven I'm like oh man yeah like this part and like the olive on the ear and like just like so <laughs> many things just like really came back to me in like a oh, flood the puppies yes okay so Here's that was the- like my number one remember like I I like as soon as I saw those puppies and and then I remembered the pizza I was like oh my god I mean olives on the ear that's my favorite part about this podcast is when that those moments happen for us when we haven't seen something for legit over 20 years and we're like oh my god like I remember these scenes so well but um I remembered like I remembered him getting hit by the car like the car barreling down i remember the ice cream them in the yes. coats and she's yes. like licking the that ice cream other, it's falling that was my all other over one him. that i was like oh yeah. my god yep um like i did not remember the the hell dog scene at all Me um neither. i didn't really remember the alli- the alligator so, okay. like weird one well before scene. i started watching it the only thing that I could remember was that giant crocodile. Okay. And the reason is, is that remember, do you remember we had a McDonald's toy yes. okay, that but the, was that crocodile? Yes. The characters seem really familiar and yes. then it all came together. Okay. I was like, Oh my so God. The theory okay. is that like a lot of movies I loved when I was little, maybe with the exception of the chipmunk adventure and babe, the gallant pig, there were some movies that like I watched to a certain point and then was like, eh, I'm bored. And then like no. would maybe switch it off. So like, I right. feel like that is something that happened okay. in this yeah. movie because that would make sense. Why? Like we're, I'm, we're not remembering this hell scene and the crocodile right. was always like kind of boring part to me. Um, and so I think I just like, yeah, I had no I, memory of the end. I did not remember. There was like yeah, a fire. They were in the cages, like all this stuff. I did not remember at all that this took place in new orleans and right. in the 1930s but that's right. like something as a kid like you i mean i didn't know what new orleans was like as were a child we, yeah were we reading things no. on the screen <laughs> like yeah. when we were really now excited about this movie i don't to know Bur- bourbon street like 10 times i'm like oh my god so cool it's in new yeah, orleans not but, many like, boobs in the 1930s i guess yeah. but um, um and yeah, then, like, yeah, the the like loose like gangster aspect to it, I'd say I mean, it's not loose. Let's just call this yeah. what it is, what which it is. is just like a <laughs> mob movie with dogs yes. in it. Yes. So, like, from my point of view as an adult, like, there's no real reason why they are dogs in this. And no. if you really just took out that element and just like they're mobsters, right? It yeah. would make total sense because then yeah. you have this girl who can talk to animals, which is not weird because they're also animals. And she's, you know, like that yeah. didn't really make sense to me. That like superpower that she has where I'm like, you know, like we know what this horse is saying. So like I know what the dogs know what this horse is saying. Is it just right. that she's nice to the animals? Confusing. So I feel like Don Bluth likes to make obviously animated movies in his way, which is like darkness and like bad things not right. bad things but like real things like I don't think he was thrilled by like the constraints of Disney of right. like you mean I can't show a dog getting hit by a car right. and or, then going to he- like that and like or happily ever after or everything right. being really pretty like his right. his people aren't pretty like the um like it's very yeah it's very gritty the glamour really isn't there that it has with disney um you don't have those like giant eyes necessarily and like all the female characters um and and yeah and it's almost like he made adult movies for kids like with adult themes but like, like made these mostly, animal worlds yeah. to like 
to tell the story to children. To, right. To like get away with it or something. Like yeah. I think that like nobody would get like maybe he did want to make like a mobster animated movie, but like nobody would watch that. So he's like, all right, I'll make it for kids and then we'll make these guys dogs instead of mobsters. Right. Um, and and just like American Tale, this one is like a dog world where mm. there's some humans, very few kind of like spattered around, but it's really just like a people world with dogs in it and like almost like nothing else exists. Because well, it's um, from their point of view. Right, exactly. Um, so, okay. So, uh, who's in this movie? So the main vocal talents are Burt Reynolds Sounds as- Sounds like Norm MacDonald. Charlie, I was like, are we? Well, they're similar. <laughs> Um, Charlie B. Barkin, love that. I cracked up. I mean, just the simplest, like, cheesy little name. I cracked up when he said, hey, like, I'm Charles B. Barkin. I was like, <laughs> so good. Um, Dom DeLuise, as Sweetie introed before, as his little sidekick, Itchy Itcherson. Did is he get, oh, like, I didn't know that he got a last name. Yeah, yep. And then Lonnie Anderson is the only other sort of memorable one, uh, ex-wife to Br- Bruce Burt Reynolds at this point, um, okay. or not at this point. They were together during the movie, but then Whoa. had like a pretty public nasty divorce. And then she's the like collie mom with like eighteen puppies. I mean, clearly those are his puppies, right? Like no one was saying what? that, but I'm like pretty sure he was the father. <laughs> like oh suspicious, or like we don't know if I mean dogs are just like you know sticking it wherever yeah. so um who knows but right i did think that this time i was like those are definitely his kids yeah <laughs> wow other like two adult for me um so yeah don bluth as we said directed it and this is from 1989 so just at the tail end of the 90s there um the girl uh who voiced Anne marie um i did not write down her name i should have but very sad story with her so she was like this child star she was in tons of tv shows at the time she was like found in a mall you know when she was like five years old they thought she was this cute little three-year-old so she started getting all these roles but she had a terrible home life her dad ended up like having becoming this alcoholic and just once she got a lot of fame got really like violent with the mom and wouldn't let her leave the house and like short before this movie I think was released the dad killed her and the mom and then burned the house up like with the bodies in it that is insane I read that I, uh, I saw that I usually I I try not to read the trivia before the podcast because I don't want to spoil what, what Sweetie's going to talk about but that one it was like the first like the preview one that you saw and I was like what the fuck like man put that up there with like Heather or O'Rourke and, and uh, Dominique Dunn and like Poltergeist like wow tragedy tragedy so tragedy and the saddest thing that I read was that that song the Anne Marie sings called soon you'll come home when she's like dreaming of like parents because she's an orphan and the it's someone else's voice which you can kind of tell like even though singing voices you know can vary but like you're like oh that doesn't sound like the vo- the voice actor and it wasn't because she couldn't get through the song because it was like way too made her just so sad about her own life and like what was going on she was 10 years old when when she was murdered um Duh. unbelievable i know it made me really sad they dedicated the movie to her and the Don Bluth did a lot of the movements and stuff like from what she moved like as a person and tried to like really inject her into the character as like a, a remembrance. So really, really sad. Um, okay. So yeah, other than that, like I said, no one really stood out as any of the other vocal actors. Uh, I don't know if Don Bluth is one of those people who tends to use the same, um, you know, people for you know disney did a lot of times um kind of the same vocal actors but this one obviously burt reynolds i mean i think he was good he sounded like frank sinatra to me and which he probably was supposed to be he really something did the singing kind of like that i know i, sure. I was i was like whoa this is like I, a weird yeah. me too i was uh, like wait a minute choice for him um, yeah totally <laughs> to and then i guess movie. him burt reynolds and dom DeLuise had done movies before so they always like recorded all their their audio together and they would like want to ad lib and do and so they'd be left alone and a lot of the script they just came up with just kind of like you know robin williams style just kind of like hammering stuff out yeah um with their repartee so that's kind of a cool little thing but yeah like um you know i know i don't know the charlie character was a tough sell for me and 
the Burt Reynolds voice certainly didn't help. I feel like he always plays sort of like smarmy people, but I just like, I just didn't love that Charlie character. And I still really didn't feel like he learned the lesson. I mean, we'll go into it, but <laughs> I'm sorry. He was still trying to get that watch at the very end. He almost killed it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yes. Um, I think, yeah, I'm not sure if I knew or realized that Charlie was such a dick when I was little. <laughs> like, I don't know if I knew that. Um, but yeah, watching this now, it's like, wow, yeah, terrible, terrible dog. Um, really should not have gone to heaven. Um, no. I mean, he was for a minute at the end, the demon thing was coming, right? I like, know. He was yes. not going to go. So that's why I'm like, see, not all dogs go to heaven, apparently. Um, but also the, the lady, the bitch was like, yo, you can't come back here when you take that watch and wind it back. But like he could. So, you know, like, why is she lying to us? I, that's just like, that's a question that I have. Um, yeah, the whole thing confused me. I was like kind of, I was still watching with Sweetie Junior. She was running around. So I think I missed like the rules of the heaven. So you'll have to go over it for me. Um, yeah. Cool. Okay. Cool. I'll do my best. All right. It's time for Sweetie Synopsis. Yeah. Sweeties. Who, what does he say when he comes, goes into the bar, the casino? He's like, what'd you say? Who'd you, or what, who'd you yeah. know? Would you, it's like some, it's, from, yeah, a, some it's from a gangster movie. Yeah. Polly says Who'd, that from what you doing? The Sopranos too. Yeah. Um, Should have remembered one? it. Blah, blah, blah. But yeah. Good one. Charlie B. Barkin is a mob dog living in the bayou, Louisiana bayou, bayou, the bayou, 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 bayou. 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 Um, so it starts, movie starts with him in jail, AKA the pound for dogs. <laughs> so they're in the pound, they're breaking out. Um, he gets back to his like uh, casino that he runs with Carface, my boss. Play Not on Scarface. Scarface. Very cute. Um, Charlie finds though, well, I guess his buds are happy to see him, but pretty much everyone was like, oh, I thought you were on death row. Like you were going to be killed. Cause that's what happens to dogs in the pound. Right. You get right. euthanized. So, mm -hmm. but he escapes. So they're like, what's going on here? So Carface is very upset and asks his like, um, uh, henchman killer to take care of this because he doesn't want to split the casino with, uh, Charlie. Like, I guess they set him up to be put in the pound, um, as a way to get rid of him so that scarf uh, oh, that's gonna that's gonna be car car face could uh you know reap all the benefits of the casino and have it all for himself so he's like now we got to knock off uh or bump off what's the term bump off charlie double cross i think it's double cross mob him. so yeah so they, they do this thing he's like oh I'll, you take the money now and like leave the casino and so everyone thinks that that's the case and then a car comes he gets him drunk oh yeah this is the other reason yeah. that i was like oh yeah they could never do this in a disney movie is like have a dog like drunk um you know well don't, aren't they throwing him like a party or something what was yeah, that for when like had the walking fezzes. away from like have, starting his own business or oh, whatever okay. Being like, he's going off on his own okay. um yeah and then the place him at the, at the very end of this <coughs> like, weird dock with like a long we both hill coughed at the same time that was weird yeah it was weird <laughs> Um, well, I had a cough. I had a tickle and then you cough. So I was like, I guess I'll just cough too and like get it out <laughs> at the same time. Um, anyway, so the car comes and hits him. You don't really see him get hit by the car though. Like it just kind of like yeah. cuts to a splash. Like I, it's very I was happy like, about whoa, that. what happened? Yeah. Um, I wonder if uh, kids his, would get that. I know. His buddy mm -hmm. Itchy's all upset because he overheard them talking about how they're going to kill him. So he tried, he had tried to warn Charlie. Um, so then from Charlie's point of view, we see him like go through this weird like light tube and then he comes out in this dog heaven, which is basically like a place in the clouds where there's like long pathways and then just a bunch of clocks everywhere. And that's, I mean, that seems to be the paint. gist. Yeah. And it's like pretty girly. And then he's met by this whippet, um, <laughs> angel <those> dog, <laughs> um, who like sings him a cute song and is like, heaven is great. Like we know everything that's going to happen. And he's like, that sounds boring. And he's like, I want to get out of here. So she tells him that like he, his life force was attached to that like clock that watch that car face gave him and because it stopped ticking he died so he's like okay why don't i just w like wind it back and then i can like just go back to living and she's like no no you can't do that and like she doesn't really give a good reason why and like it's not there's not really any rules so you didn't miss anything really in this part but so behind her back charlie like takes the the watch and, and winds it up 
And she's like, Charlie, no, Charlie, you can't come back. You can never come back. And so, again, spoiler alert, he's able to come back at the end. So, like, I don't know what she was talking about. But <laughs> anyway, so now. Evan. Right. So now he's back to life. He's not a ghost. He's not an angel. Very misleading because on the box cover, I'm pretty sure he has like a halo. Yeah, he does. And he's like, okay, he's an angel this whole. No, he's not. He just no. like is back to life. He just came back. So finds Itchy, scares the shit out of him, is like, listen, I'm not dead. Like, we got to find out, like, what Carface is running. He's obviously, like, up to some no good. Like, he had me killed. He's up to no... He's, he's doing bad things. We've got to figure it out. So they go to Carface's, and Carface has kidna- somehow kidnapped a little girl <laughs> and has her holed up in the, uh, you know, some, like, basement room. Mm -hmm. And her purpose is to talk to animals before the big races. So they do these rat races (laughs) in their casino. (laughs) And she's able to talk to the rats and get like the 411 on like the rat situation with the race. Like, oh, Bobby has a cold? Darn. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Tina is mad at Louise? Interesting. And like just uh, it's interesting. I don't know. Like it's not like a. I, I was con- like, but the horse one, the horse race, clearly yeah. the horses were all like in on it together. Whereas this seemed like she was just using Intel to make the right choice. But like, right. how do you know that's the right choice? Like, just because you have a cold, like the rat's not going to win. I don't know. Yeah. It seemed flimsy. It did. Um, but cl- clearly it worked because that's how Scarface gets all of his money. Right. Right. So he's kind of just like, yeah, um, like it is, it's the, kind of fit. Kind of fixed. Yeah, the betting. So it's like you're Biff Tannen and you have the sports, you know, sports almanac. You know who the winner's going to be. Right. But I mean, it's, but not as, sure. Again, again, not as sure. Not as 100% sure. <laughs> not though. as like, sure. Almanac, like, you I know. know that's for sure because that's what happened. Yeah. But this is just like, I don't know. Yeah. Good interview guess. style. So uh, Charlie sees dollar signs because he's like, oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Like, we'll take her and then bet on a horse race and then we'll take the money and open our own casino so that's the plan so they bust her out telling her like some lie about how like they're gonna you know get her find her parents because she needs she's an orphan they're gonna like give all the money they win to the poor so they he tells her all these lies basically they're and, scammers and meanwhile Con, he's like disgusted men. by her and her name is Anne marie and she's a little girl and so this is like the dog dynamic of like the dog is disgusted by the huge like i just didn't get like that wait <laughs> like, why didn't... was he disgusted by every her? time he kissed her she oh. kissed him he was like ew and then would like well, bleh, like no, do like things disgusted, like that disgusted right he just like wasn't into like love like he was all about himself and getting yeah. money and he yeah, so wasn't that kind by, of a dog by love he was he was the anti-dog almost because remember the whippet in he- the angel whippet is like oh like dogs all dogs go to heaven because they're so loyal and you know love their humans and like care or, like without fail or whatever like that but it doesn't seem like charlie is like that at all mm-hmm Exactly. I mean, or itchy. I mean, like none of those. I mean, the dogs all have like a anyone weird in thing that with, world with humans. Yeah. Um. I guess because they're mob dogs. So like, right. I don't know. Interesting. Well, they don't trust um, them. But Anne Marie's having a good time anyways, which is nice. Um. So they take her to the horse track, and uh, she talks to the horse, where she finds out that it's the grand, um, the grand Shahi's birthday. Shahi's that birthday. Was the other oh my thing. god! Like, I soon. I remembered it. Yeah. So as soon as much. they started talking about Shahi. that, and I was like. Oh my god! It's just really funny because, like, I don't know. It's the way she says it. It's the way it she says sounds it. Sounds like Charlie, which she also says funny. So it and I don't she know, says it a like hundred a times. It's your birthday! It's, it's your birthday! It's your birthday, Grand Chahi! Happy birthday, Grand Chahi! Like, okay, we get it. We know his name, Charlie. Um, so uh, they're gonna the horses are gonna surprise him by like letting him win the race and he's like a terrible horse he's like yeah. skinny bandaged legs he basically i think he's a might be a donkey like i <laughs> I, I was just like why is he in this horse race at all um, he calls him like a glue something yeah, you know how they like, like made yeah. when like glue horses out, were not longer horses. Abuse, you yeah. sent him to the glue factory but <laughs> yeah. like um yeah, it's a fu- it's a funny scene. So they bet all the money on him, and it's because he has like such low odds to win a thousand um, to one. I don't even yeah. know what that means. I never get horse racing. I'm I mean, like, what I the never, fuck does well, that I mean? I don't get any but, betting stuff. I'm like, yeah, what is? I don't, I don't know. know what any of that means. Um, so he wins. They get the money, and so they open up. They build. Sorry, they build their own casino. Okay. This this is where the movie. <laughs> honestly, talking dogs. Fine. <laughs> 
gambling dogs cool um going to the the racetrack like piled three high in a coat cool once they built their own casino i was it, it was over for me i'm like well, tell what? them how they built tell them how they built it so it was in like a junkyard well first of all they get tons of money because they're going to every race in town so there is a horse race, which is the common one. Then there's frog races. There is kangaroos fighting in a boxing <laughs> ring. Kangaroos um, box. There was a turtle race. So it's like every little race you could think of. And they like reap all of this money. Oh, and at, so the to even place the first bet to get them started on winning all these other bets, they pickpocket a sweet little family. They do like a little con right. where Anne Marie and Itchy pretends his leg is broken and then Charlie like steals the wallet. So that's their like initial bet. And he holds on to that wallet. But does for she some reason. know that that's what they're doing? Because why no. does she get so mad when she finds out that he has the wallet? Yeah, she didn't. I guess she didn't know what they were doing or didn't know that that yeah. was that the couple that they stole from. But anyway, so it's this nice couple and Anne Marie like sees them as like the perfect family um, or perfect parents for her and and they'll come into play later. But anyway, so yeah, so they make this casino in a junkyard and they're like doing all the welding like Itchy is some like master welder builder. They jump into the, you know, the junkyard machines that have like the big magnets like in Brave Little Toaster. toaster. Yeah. 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 And it's like he like jumps in this like the seat and he's like starts it up and it's just like like he he owns the junkyard. He's like a little wiener dog. I don't know. Who's it's like Dom's junkyard or something. So it's like, is this Dom DeLuise's but, but junkyard? Is that where Itchy was living when yeah. Charlie came back? Like yeah, he was. That's where they. There. That's where yeah, they live. Where they yeah. live. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, they they co- make a cool place called Charlie's Place. It looks yeah. pretty and rad. It's like the um, kind of casino he wanted with like singing and dancing. Charlie like loves music, like good music and like cultural. But it's like, why do dogs need money? Like, who are they? Are they going into the liquor store and well, buying like, like bottles of liquor? No, it's in like. Is- is that the cur- well they were but they're winning money and all the it was all this money they were right. winning because it, it right. was like yeah, i don't know pe- what they were using the money betting for yeah. unless they right. took the money and then changed and it steaks? into steaks <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that, that could clear be yeah. that could be it but yeah great question um so obviously carface is not too pleased and he's like why is he alive what the fuck so now they're like gonna they're going after him basically unfortunately um now I'm now I'm forgetting like the order of things, but uh oh, Amory starts like catching on to the con before long and is like, You said we would give the money to poor people, you didn't. You said you'd find me a family, you didn't, so she's pissed at him. He's like, All right, all right. Sque- he calls her squeaker and like um takes her to feed the poor people dogs, which are just like poor his, dogs. Maybe maybe his dog family <laughs> his living in, in, in the cemetery <laughs> with his lady love. So they bring them pizza. They call them and, Uncle Charlie. Yeah, and uh Emery again starts like singing songs about like how she wished she had a family and stuff like that. Um, Carface comes to the casino and burns it down and beats up Itchy. Itchy's pissed at Charlie because he feels like he's kind of like shirking his responsibilities and like only spending time with Emery and not caring about the casino or like his friends. Um, and so to make him feel itchy feel better i guess or maybe he really meant it charlie's like i don't i I hate Anne marie like i don't even want anything to do with her like blah 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 and then Anne marie hears that and gets super upset and runs away um or at some point she finds the wallet and is like you i can't believe you stole this like i how could you and then their address is in the wallet so she goes to those that human they call them the wallet family um which is cute um So she's off to see them. Um, Charlie goes after her and she's having a great time. They've already made her like delicious waffles. Waffles. Um, Like they seem completely ready to just adopt her. Um, Like they're having a discussion about it already. It seems like let's do this. Stupid Charlie comes and like pulls some bullshit. Is like, how could you leave me? Like basically guilt trips her. And so she goes back with him. Meanwhile, Carface has somehow killer has somehow obtained what he calls <laughs> <laughs> the um a what, did he, what did he call it a ray, a ray no, gun. but like the what was the it was oh. like the yeah uh flash gordon ray gun yes. or something 
And it's like, okay, first of all, what? How did you get this? I don't, I mean, that was where, for me, that was the part. I was like, excuse me, what? Um, real magic wand moment. But so they have this ray gun and they're, they're clocking them, like come out of this thing. They shoot at them. And then Charlie and Emery escape, but fall in a sewer where there's like some like mean voodoo rats are like trying to sacrifice them to the crocodile voodoo god. And, um, Charlie screams really loudly and her howls like dog howls and the crocodile's like, Ooh, you got a nice voice. Let's sing together. Uh, I will never eat a singer. Yeah. <laughs> it's like pretty funny, but like, yeah, I, I guess we never watched this part. Um, so they're friends now, but meanwhile, Anne Marie is like caught a fever or a cold or something from being in the sewer she you know such a wimp and um <laughs> she is really sick and uh Flo the lady dog is like Charlie she needs a doctor Flo's really smart I'm I'm glad we have uh lady dogs like Flo you know around who know things thank goodness mm -hmm. Charlie's like should we take her to the vet the like vet? he doesn't know anything so yeah <laughs> and yeah um what idiot I said oh <laughs> it's like what um <laughs> So then, then what happens? Okay, Carfus so then, gets them then it's the part where he, um, Itchy comes and says, you, what's your deal with Anne Marie? Why do you like her more than me? I thought I was your best friend. And then he goes on this thing. I'm just using her. It's just no, business, that already blah, blah, blah. Happened. That already no, happened. No, and then Anne Marie comes and, um, and hears all that, runs outside. He goes after her and that's when Carface steals her. Away, uh, right? Okay, sorry. Yeah, because she was I sick. Suppose. She was sick after the crocodile thing, and remember, oh uh, yeah, yeah, she yeah, was yeah. sick and came up downstairs. Yeah, right. And then, okay, sorry, yeah. mixed up the order. Uh, so yeah, Carface takes her, um, and then Charlie runs after, like but just goes, as like bait for Charlie, right? Because he wants Charlie dead for realsies. Um, bites charlie on the tail i don't know there's like some what happens with the sh how do they get on the ship they he was on the old ship he took her to the old ship Carface takes her yeah. and marie to, to an old to the old old ship um and then she's in like this cage and charlie mm -hmm. tries to rescue her and then they're like got you so then he like six all his like gang dogs on him and then they tie him to this anchor and are ready to drown right. him and then crocodile friend comes and saves the day right because he howls charlie howls again which is yeah, like and he the can call hear that beckons the crocodile so the crocodile comes and saves him but then unfortunately like dislodges the ship and it gets like it's sinking and Anne marie almost drowns and charlie's watch falls in the water and he knows that like when the watch stops like he'll actually be dead so he's like tries to get the watch, but then decides last minute. And eh, I guess I'll save this Anne Marie. So pushes her out the ship on the raft, and then the other dogs have come. They got the the Wallet family to follow them, and then they they pick Anne Marie up and take her home. And she gets to keep Itchy and like hang out with Itchy, which is cute. Mm. Um, but then Charlie, for real, Z's is dead. Z's and again is about to be swooped up by the demon. But then the angel comes. Doesn't tell. I don't. They don't really like tell him. Like you did a good thing. The now you get to go to heaven. Very, like, I said, like very not, rushed to you. Yeah, I don't know not what much happened with the ending. Not nothing explained. You want this nice moment and almost and like Anne Marie to be was, sad, but she she's is, like she's just sleepy. Away. No, she's like sleep. Well, he doesn't tell her I'm dead. He's like I have to go. So like yeah, she doesn't it, it really. Was but he didn't wake up Itchy to say goodbye. I, I thought that was rude. Yeah, but Itchy already thought he was dead because he saw they saw the ship. <sighs> yeah, that's true. you know go down. So like I think he just right. thought assumed that so really it was just like his ghost presence saying goodbye so that was sweet um so then charlie goes to actual heaven again i guess you can go back and and that's it and yeah presumably Anne marie has, lives a wonderful life where she eats delicious waffles yeah i mean did they and have waffle makers in the 1930s i, I don't know, know right what about did they have that car face like virtual reality like buggy thing that he had it was like a screen and then he was what? driving his like yeah, model was t he doing that i was always so <laughs> oh. confused by that when i was little i was like is it a video game like i didn't oh. get it yeah that was weird um, um i i guess there's a sequel all dogs go to heaven two um charlie comes back to earth and gets into some shenanigans uh with itchy so that's sweet i guess she can come back see again yeah, it's like no rules <laughs> no rules here um but yeah 
funny movie. So the things that stuck out the mo- the things that I remember the most that I like saw and was like, I'm pretty sure I have them burned in my brain. I mean, for sure now, anyways. So the first one is definitely you already talked about it when they're eating. She's eating the ice cream cone on the coats, and then it like falls. It's just like the texture of food in this movie is just like very um, sticky. I don't know. Everything's yeah. just like sticky, icky bubble gum, right? Like, do we have to bring up the pizza again? Um, well, I'm gonna I'm talk about you. it, but like okay. the ice cream specifically, yes, I remember yes. like <laughs> just like giant chunk just like falls on itchy and then like falls down. I don't know. It seems like cotton candy. It's confusing. No. So yeah, that scene for sure. Um, the Grand Shahi, obviously, mm-hmm. obviously remember that. But here's the one that I, when, when it was happening, I was like, ew, ew, I remember this. So like <laughs> the, first of all, the killer, the dog killer, who's like the little, like, yes. kind of like the, I don't know. In mom movies, you always have this like annoying, like sniveling, uh, like secondhand man who's like the accountant. And so like, no. I imagine like that's what this killer was, but he has these like gross, like thin ears and there's one part where there, he's like Carface is feeding him into the like piranha bin the or piranhas. whatever. piranhas. I remember And the that piranhas too. are like biting his little thin ears and it's like so <laughs> gross. And I remember like as a child being like, ew, I hate that part. Um, and then the pizza. So the pizza, so interesting. The puppies are like all about that pizza. And the pizza in this movie, the cheese the just like disintegrates yes. into like cheese pools like everywhere (laughs) and like there's one puppy that has a whole cheese on his head and then also (laughs) one little black (laughs) olive like hanging off of his ear and that is just stuck with me for so long and like i'm never gonna forget about that on that olive hanging off his little ear i was i also Um, was like what is the deal with that olive i noticed it immediately so funny um funny because we talked about many times in a goofy movie first of the first time we talked about it, cartoon pizza skeeves me out. It's just not a good look. And I look back on other episodes and we talked about, let's say, Lady and the Tramp. You know, maybe it's just, well, that, okay, Goof Troop or Goof Troop. <laughs> Goofy movie is a Disney movie. But I remember Lady and the Tramp, we talked about how yummy the meatballs looked. And the spaghetti and meatballs and Lady and the Tramp were like, yum, I want some. But what is it with pizza? I think because like, you can't really make like an yeah. a, a animal or a cartoon bite into something in like right. a believable way way so when they bite into the pizza it always stretches like a giant piece of gum and you're like what but the cheese is always liquid and there's never any any sauce (laughs) right it's always just cheese (laughs) and like i didn't even know there were olives on this pizza until this puppy had one on his ear and i was like oh weird olives on the pizza cool um the other thing that grossed me out in like not when I was little, but certainly watching it now, and I'm I'm sure you agree because you have the same uh, skeevy freak out thing, is that like Charlie had a dog mole <laughs> on his face, and it was like gross, and I was did I don't know I was just too? like really put off by it. This little like black too. dot, yeah. yeah, and I guess to make him seem more like mutt like and like yeah. not like a, a purebred German Shepherd, but like um, I just thought that was funny, funny choice. Well, in general, I felt that the almost reversed anthropomorphism so they had dogs taking on human qualities like when he was lifting Anne Marie up to save her he was like lifting her up like a baby like using his arms and then he was going to walk away on two legs I don't know Mm -hmm. that really freaked me out that the dogs like were like moved in that way I guess um I didn't I didn't love it Mm, interesting (laughs) yeah yeah, it didn't. I mean, the whole rationale of like why the dogs are the way they are didn't make sense to me. And you asked, like, where are the cats? And there is one no. cat, if you remember, who is, is there... eating an old fish like at the dock and does not have a tail. It looks like it's oh. been like chewed off. Okay. And he, that's when Charlie comes out of the water and is like, oh, I'm alive. And the, 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 cat, the cat's scared and runs away. Okay. But again, like, why are they the only ones that are, like, talking, even yeah. though you hear the horses talk, so you know, like, they can talk. But right. I don't know. It didn't make sense. It seemed like dogs were up here and all the other animals were, like, way <laughs> below Yeah. Them. I don't get if, it. <laughs> if there wasn't humans in it, and there are a couple, so Anne-Marie, like you said, kidnapped by dogs, um, just walk I'd away. I'd like to know how that <laughs> happened. Yeah. <laughs> But um, 
and then the couple, you know, the wallet family and then, or the wallet couple. And then there's a couple people like in town, right? But so there's like a handful of humans. Oh, I guess. Again, oh, and then at the horse racing and all that stuff. Racing guy, yeah. But other than that, it's like a little alternate reality dog world, really. Like, how are these dogs like living this life? And I guess, okay. So, and then you also have in this, like the street dogs, which is what they are, the mob dogs, right? Who mm-hmm. have this old, whole like underground mob scene. But then they do show regular dogs, like in New Orleans, like in the French Quarter, when mm-hmm. Charlie's in trouble, there's like a bark, you know, uh, what do you call it? Like signal that goes out and that's how they get all the dogs together to go help like Anne Marie and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. So, but those are dogs that have owners and live in home so that you, you see the other side, but they knew who Charlie was. So did they like go out and gamble at the casino? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't. This honestly, is too deep. It's yeah, too, there's a lot of there's a lot of plot holes. There's a lot of plot holes. Let's just 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 say it. Um, and then again, I think like if they weren't dogs, I think a lot of the story would make more sense. Mm. Um, like them kidnapping her. Like if they were right. just mobsters, like that makes sense, right? It yeah. doesn't make a lot of sense what, why or how dogs would kidnap a child. So, right. um, and why is she always wearing tights? Like I, don't I, know. I think that always. She got all those me. new clothes. Why did she? She go where, back to yeah, the whole. Where ones? are the new clothes? It's just yeah. very confusing. She looks so cute. Um, so this is a musical, uh, uh, which I I definitely forgot. Um, Half ass musical again, I'd say. We only so, have like four songs. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I feel like there are a you lot. Think? So I actually think that this movie would make a great like Broadway musical because hmm. it's already set up in that way in a bit like they are they have like an overture they have that theme that you can't keep a good dog down that they yeah. do like all the you know throughout it is like the song there's all these like big set pieces of like oh here comes the crocodile like doing this great number and like yeah. i just feel like it was made for that like it's it's set up like a musical not like a song like a disney movie with songs in it like yeah you know what I mean? Like it's just it yeah. felt like there were beats that were like the, these are show tunes kind of things, and like the, you sets, should... the songs weren't like super great, but I think that like yeah. maybe I mean not all musicals have all great songs. Uh, right. There's some songs where you're like ah, I'm bored of this one. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I think. Yeah, um, they yeah they were good, and I did like kind of remember them once they started playing. Yeah. So. You can't keep a, keep good, a good dog, dog down. down. I remember that one. Yeah, can't um, keep a good dog down. What's mine is, is your the sharing yeah. song. Yeah, yeah, the sharing song. And then let's make music, music together. together. Yeah, baby, let's make sweet harmony. Mm-hmm. So I did like once they were playing. I was like, oh yeah, like I do remember this. Yeah, the heaven funny little song songs. was another one. And then like yeah, the the parent song that she sings. So. Yeah, there were there were a lot, I thought. Um, but yeah, yeah interesting they, they were choice. Sweet. Songs were big. You know, you need to have songs in your in your movies. You do. You you need to, you need to. You need to. Well, back then, I don't know, it was just yeah. like expected in an animated movie, I yeah. guess. And I think like they just make it more fun. You know, kids kids love songs. I'm learning that now having a 1-year-old. Like you start singing and they immediately shut up. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know that. I'll sing all the time now. Oh, it's so cool. We were riding and she was uh Sweetie Junior was freaking out and I was with uh Grammy Carol and we just started singing wheels on the bus and boop, she piped right down and we had to we just were going through all we kept like forgetting like what the next one was we're like uh uh driver on the bus move on back like I don't even know them I only know them no. because of baby bums but theirs are like weird no. iterations yeah so. I mean you can like make up whatever you want but yeah songs are key um okay so um yeah so we didn't uh we mentioned it uh, briefly but there was like we said a very scary scene where uh charlie is imagining himself he's he's has fallen asleep at the bastard puppy house and is having a nightmare about dog hell because you know the heaven whippet had said you can't ever come back so that means if you're not going to heaven you're going to hell right so he has this dream of this doggy hell oh my god like what was going on there it was like your worst nightmare clearly it was his nightmare these like dog like dragons coming out of this like hellfire he's getting like bitten all over by these little things black red oh my god it was like the scariest thing I read in the trivia that they had like cut some of that scene because it was too scary for kids um it was pretty <laughs> not <long>. enough <laughs> i know 
like, what? So I think we said this about um, American Tale, you know, with like with the cats and it's just very dark and like a lot of the stuff, him almost drowning on the ship and everything like that. There's just like, oh, and like the big scary and uh, American Tale, like monster mouse that they make, you know, mm-hmm. uh, very scary stuff for little kids. And like we said, I think it continues because let's remember Land Before Time, pretty fucking scary, sad. Oh, the yeah, mom, I'm going to do that one the, too. The whole That's going to be deal. another like yep. amnesia one. I've never seen it, but Secret of Nim, very dark. You know, the little mm-hmm. mouse. Yeah, I've never seen that. <coughs> fighting against <coughs> somebody. I forgot. I haven't seen that one, but. Um, yeah, so scary for shit. The Land Before Time? That's not No, true. no, no. No, Secret of Nim. Oh, we're talking. I said Land Before Time, though. You were like, I've never seen it. Um, I've seen that. Sad. Sad as fuck. Well, I know, Let's but we, we need to do that one, and that's going to be we another do. amnesia one. Um, yeah, that might be the last what Don Bluth movie I'm going to do. I got to be honest. These are really dragging on me. Um, <laughs> I don't like remember. Uh, I don't think I saw Thumbelina. Never seen Pebble and Penguin. I do. I do like Anastasia. Um, I, I've seen that one a couple times. Good story. Once upon a December. Good song. Um, okay, so hot hot button question for you do cats go to heaven (laughs) i mean if we're talking about like the reason dogs go to heaven yeah then i would say like cats should go to heaven i mean like all animals should go to heaven but acknowledging the presence of heaven (laughs) acknowledges just the fact this is like you know i don't know like as an adult who's like more spiritual maybe i don't know every anytime someone talks about like heaven and angels and stuff i'm always like ooh, religion so um but if if this movie the qualifications for heaven are that dogs are like loyal companions i mean desmond would go to heaven yeah do is that really in in most people's impression of cats that's not their impression of cats like a loyal well steadfast as we know companion, people right? are wrong cats about are, cats no definitely that's what i'm saying and i was talking to people about this about this movie and and i was like and saying that you know there's no cats in this movie there's this whole dog world and there's no cats and really cats are really not well represented represented in film um there's definitely less more dog movies than cats let's be honest mm-hmm. um Cats are always Some, the villain. Cats are always the villain. Someone brought up Homeward Bound. I'm like, that movie is two thirds dogs. Like, that's not a cat movie. And Sassy is a bitch. So it's not. And I know Disney did Oliver and Company and Aristocats to try to make up for this. We'll have to do a watch. I'm not sure. Um, but I just Everybody want wants to be cats cat. to get their dues, right? Yeah. I'm, re- I'm real sick of this. I'm real <laughs> sick sick of the shade yeah. that gets thrown to the felines, you know? I know. I mean, we've talked about it before. And just like the association of like crazy cat ladies and like, yeah. you know, like crazy girls. And like, yeah. yeah, we both have cats. But like, whatever. Our cats are awesome. Like, they're different. People carry dogs in purses and they're not crazy? <laughs> I know. Yeah, the dog, like, the dog what? people are way worse than are cat people. Crazy. Cat people are like, oh, I just see my cat with like a bowl of food and I'm gone for a day. Yeah. And dog people are like, I need a dog walker to come and walk my dog every three hours, or he'll get upset. Oh, and yeah. it's like, oh, okay, this restaurant doesn't allow dogs. Oh my I'm god, out. forget like, it. Like um, support dogs. You can take them on planes now. Can I get a support cat, please? Like, what the hell? I know. It's just, not. It's they not, just get away fair. with so much. I to mean, be I fair. Would, uh, I love dogs. I'm not, I wouldn't right. say I'm a dog person or a cat person. I really am. I mean, I'm, I'm a, a, pet, pet person. a pet person. I'm a pet person, except for rats. You know, what did not you feel? Happening. Were you okay with the rats in this yeah, movie? Yeah. Well, the rat race was okay. I was a little skeeved out. I just hate the look of their bodies and the skinny tail. But then when she was talking to the little rat in the thing and was like giving him a cookie and, yeah. and I, chatting I like, about she, his life, I was like, Ooh, I was like okay. Sweetie might get skeeved out by this rat. No. He's kind of no. kind of scary. No, no, no. That, it, it went okay. I mean, once you kind of make hum- make them a little bit more human, I'm okay with the rat sitch. Good. Um. Good. Okay, so uh, do you have anything else? I'll go into my last segment. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's tell. Let's tell some dog dying stories. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my God, no! <laughs> Why? No. I mean, we can just. I just wanted to bring up our dogs because, um, 
you know, like we said in the beginning, Sweetie was just a, uh, okay, we had cats growing up, but they were definitely a, didn't, one cat was like kind of cozy and Sweetie did love love him albert okay, i but, mean who could forget that that time that albert died and we sat on the log oh, waiting yeah. for the bus crying in oh, the rain so like, sad. obviously yeah and you asked me that. if he went to heaven remember okay yeah probably because this movie because it said all dogs go to heaven and it was and it raining say, and i said andre they're go to heaven they're crying for albert because he died um yeah so we had <laughs> this little albert <laughs> we had little albert who was sweet but um all of our cats were outdoor cats, which I feel like makes them a little less like cozy kitten um, because they're, they're a little bit more wild, even though they're not like feral, but they have these like outdoor experiences. And ours were all very much hunters and would be leaving like dead animal bodies all over our yard. So, you know, not so cozy. Then we got dogs and that was real sweet. So we had a, a black lab growing up and a yellow lab. And Sweetie was obsessed with them. Just loved, loved. I mean, I love them too. And they like, especially the little yellow lab was totally my buddy. But like, but Sweetie here was just, just love those dogs. Like so, so much. Um, And I know, but they were just, they were just your buddy, buddy, buddies. Especially like once, you know, Liz and I were a little older, so we weren't around that much. And like, feel like you were still kind of little. Um, Those dogs were your butts. Yeah, yeah they them. they were like definition of loyal. I mean, all dogs are in a lot, unless they're Those it's dogs. like a bad dog, but so sweet. And they lived, um, one of them lived to be 15. So the black lab, <sighs> Nikki, so sweet. And the other one lived to be 10. Um, That's it? No, I think Sunny was like 11. I think she made okay. it to like 11 or 12. Maybe 11, but she Died was... of a heart attack slash broken heart. Yeah, yep. So it was like kind of after our dad died and like my mom wasn't around that much. And I think she just like couldn't take that. Like my dad wasn't around, our dad wasn't around anymore and, no. and just didn't want to live. No. So she went to heaven. She was also no. very fat. She was um, very fat. <laughs> she ate a lot of, she ate a lot of things that she wasn't supposed to, that she would yeah. just jump in and get. Yeah. Um, but she was hilarious. There was nobody like Sunny. That's for sure. Yeah. And um, I'm glad that we didn't, um, I mean, when Nikki died, the black one, I was in college and then Sunny, like I was post-college. So I'm glad I, well, we weren't like too little around. and yeah, we weren't and like had the, young. Yeah. We didn't need to have, and we didn't, yeah, yeah, there was, yeah. I mean, they had a lot of like close calls, Sunny, mm. Emily, uh, Sweetie witnessed Sunny get hit by a car one morning at the bus stop, rolled Terrible. right under, rolled right under the car. You know, it was, was fine. She had like one scratch and <laughs> she was fine. Nikki had like a, remember Nikki almost died one time too? Yeah. And like, I forget what happened there. Her, something, um, her spleen or, or something like ruptured. Oh man. She had like, yeah. And they, they had to do like she emergency was okay surgery and she, and she was, she lived another like five, five years. years. Yeah. That was yeah. weird. That was um, wicked weird. So but yeah, I remember well, they brought me, so we had like yes. a bet and we bring her in and she was just like, when dogs kind of get towards the end of their life, they, they like just like lay there. They don't do anything. If you've ever like seen a dog kind of get close to death there. And he, she was like that. And we didn't know what was wrong with her. And they always stop eating, right? Because dogs love to eat. So you're like, something's wrong with this dog. So we bring her in. We don't know what's going on. And they have us wait in what is definitely like the dead dog room. Because there's books everywhere that's like, when Fido goes to heaven, like saying goodbye to Rusty. And it was so sad. I was with dad. And we were like, oh my God, is this where they take people? They tell them that their dog has to be put to sleep. But no, they came in and they're like, so good news. Like we found out like the, she was bleeding internally like she had some internal organ bust or something but she just needed like surgery and a blood transfusion and bitch was ready to go so yeah yeah. close call um but then she yeah then she did just die of old age like eventually just like i said kind of just stopped eating she like had trouble walking and then yeah Yeah, got kind of got real dodgy at the end there Uh, a lot of (laughs) <laughs> puking and uh slipping and falling oh, in in the puke. Yeah, she couldn't um, walk. Yeah. But poor poor Nick. Um but yeah, those were yeah. our girls. We loved them. Um but like we have- but pets are so crazy. I mean you 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 know, hopefully outlive quite a couple. I mean, you've had your first cat like well, had like a sad a sad ending and you just you love these little things so much and you have to say goodbye to them like again and again. And well unless it's you're such the a crazy queen, thing. Yeah, the Queen of England. So someone yeah. posted this on Twitter. So today, uh Elizabeth the second, QE two, um, finally died after 
96, 96 years, you said? Mm -hmm. um, but so she was obviously deeply obsessed with Corgi. She got her first Corgi as a gift on her 18th birthday. Its name was Susan. Hilarious. Um, Susan <laughs> the <name>. Corgi <laughs> gave, descended all... Queen Elizabeth's other corgis all came from this same Susan. Okay, did, so did they just keep breed, breeding, or yeah. did she clone yeah. them? Um, that was that's somebody else, Barbara Streisand or something. Just clone, yes. keeps cloning yeah. her dog. I think dog. they just breed breeded them. So okay. anyway, but somebody posted a thing of like all of the dogs she's had. So she's had like thirty five dogs basically, oh, all descended God. from. And that, that's how many dogs she's had in her lifetime. Wow, um, really fun stuff. So yeah, good times. Yeah, it's dogs. just so I I wonder if like. Mm, if I watch this as a little kid, like, do you get that concept of like dogs dying? <laughs> Not really. You're just like, oh, I they're know. going in the clock world, and they can come yeah, back if they wind I the know. clock. Like, like, was Dodd Bluth supposed to be like, you know, spelling this out for kids, but then only making it more confusing? Probably. Probably, yeah. 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 Pretty much. Pretty much. All right. Well, yeah. Sweet little flick. Fun to take a walk down memory lane. My, one of my favorite things. Makes um, me want to get a dog. No, I know. But it's too, <laughs> again, too much work. Um, you got to be you got to be there for them. Um, tough when yeah. you have a baby who's small and you also have to be around for like imagine trying yeah. to do all that. No. I mean, I will say like we every time I pass like a lab and then there were this spring and summer, there was like a lot of puppies around. And every time I pass one, I was like, oh, man, like I <laughs> love little puppies and they're so cute and just they like are, having so that work. bond. I know. And like whenever uh, Sweetie Junior loves dogs and like whenever we go for a stroller walk, she's just like pointing at dogs, like loves she likes cats just like and, and cats, dogs and cats. I'd she say they're pretty e even at this point. But oh. whenever we pass a dog and people are like say to us sometimes like I think you need to get a dog now. No, I'm like not, watch no. your mouth. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but, but, but remember, puppies are a lot of work. So when yeah. we got Sunny, Emily and I, or Sweetie and I, were really excited and we're like we're gonna. We were like she fighting like over baby. who got to sleep with her the first night, like whose room she got to sleep in. So we decided that I would sleep on the floor. When <laughs> Sunny was in a box and Emily, Sweetie was on her bed. And the whole night, Sunny was just like, <laughs> and we were like so over. We were like, damn, it, why did we decide this was uh, the right choice? They, and now that I've had a baby, the like, they really are like, I mean, they are I know. babies. They are Remember only eight weeks old. Desmond too. Yeah. Like just yeah. so. And uh, after that experience and, and Desmond having him as a kid, and I was like, I'm never getting a kitten or a puppy again. Oh like I'm God. starting I'm at like, one years old. We're going to start that life together, <laughs> but it's like pissing and pooping everywhere, chewing up everything. Yeah. Um, like Oof, running yeah. all over the place. I mean, puppies are, yeah, so loud, so barky. I mean, it's a lot of work. That's why I like, that's why I'm like, people, you're crazy. There's no way I'm having a baby. And then adding the dog baby on top of like the baby <laughs> children that I have. Yeah. Like, are you, is this a suicide mission? Or no, are you no. crazy? You get the no, dog no, no. first. Yes. You, you have it mature and then you have the babies. Perfect combo. So. Yeah. Or, or wait until the kid's older. Yes. This is, you need to wait until the kid can do like chores to well, help you Well, that's what mom and dog. dad thought was going to happen with our dogs. And we did jack shit. What? So. We did, remember, we had to take them outside to pee for a while for like a year before we had the, uh, that the fence that, didn't that was last annoying that long. we picked up we your definitely poop. Didn't. that was my we, least favorite job was the pooper yeah, that the poop was pretty scoop, bad. pooper scooper we had a giant you know, mound of poop in the yard like the triceratops oh, poop brutal mount hill mountain <laughs> in jurassic park of like you dog can get poop. companies like will do that for you now what i know you can pay Terrible people job. to come and literally dog poop. pick up shit i wonder how much it is is it per poop <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe we know. picked up 10 poops today that's ten dollars <laughs> mr dumas weird job weird job okay sorry <laughs> tangent uh <laughs> dogs all Anyways, dogs go to heaven um yeah so that's it so come find us on twitter at the sweetie club or on instagram at large marge Santos. thank you as always for listening if you still made it this far thank you very much bye bye